In this example, I need to find the exact value of the inverse sine of negative square root of 2 divided by 2. So quickly reviewing, for the inverse sine function, the input values or the domain are real numbers between negative 1 and 1, including the endpoints, and the output values or the range are angles in the interval negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, again including the endpoints. So what this means is I'm looking for angles somewhere in this shaded region on my unit circle. So I could have a positive angle rotating between 0 and pi over 2 or a negative angle rotating between 0 and negative pi over 2. When you first start working on these problems, it's often easier to set your inverse trig function equal to a variable. I'm going to pick theta since I'm looking for an angle and then just translate this. What does this mean? This means that the sine of theta equals negative the square root of 2 over 2 and what is the restriction? Theta must lie in the region negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. These restrictions on theta mean my angle must either lie in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. I'm looking for the sine of theta being a negative number. Remember, the sine of theta is the y-coordinate of points on the unit circle. They're positive in quadrant 1, and they're negative in quadrant 4. So my angle must lie in quadrant 4. And here's the point whose y-value or sine value is negative the square root of 2 over 2. So this is the angle that produces it, but be careful when your answer is in quadrant 4, my answer cannot equal 7 pi over 4 because that doesn't lie in the given range. So what we have to do is find the angle that rotates in this direction, a negative angle. If you can look at the unit circle and figure that out in your head, great, but if not, you take theta, you set it equal to 7 pi over 4, and then you just subtract one rotation that is 2 pi from it. Subtracting fractions and whole numbers, turn the whole number into a fraction by dividing by 1. Need a common denominator that's going to be 4, so multiply numerator and denominator by 4 over 4. So I'm going to get 7 pi over 4 minus 2 times 4 is 8 pi over 4. So the inverse sine of negative the square root of 2 over 2 equals 7 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4. So that's negative 1 pi over 4 or just negative pi over 4.